Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of Disappointed Dragon. More blind bags. Um, a new blind bag. Uh, something... Ah, uh, you can see how much I paid for it, $4.95. Um, these are Funko Mystery Minis, and they are related to, if you can't already tell, old video games. This one says Dig Dug. In fact, they all say Dig Dug. I've got two of them. Um, and they are vinyl figurines in relation to older video games. So far, the only one you can see on here is Dig Dug, but I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be more. And there is, in fact, supposed to be more. Um, there's Pac-Man, Blinky, Mrs. Pac-Man, Mrs. Pac-Man Ghost, Cubert, Coily, Centipede, Mega Man, Frogger, Dig Dug, Puka, and Figar. Um, so hopefully these are actually mystery, vinyl, uh, mystery figures and not just all Dig Dug. Uh, I didn't actually check to see if the boxes had different designs. I'm going to assume that they're just all mystery ones and they just chose one specific arcade cabinet to use as the uh, box um it's kind of in theme to what we were looking at the other day which was the uh, mini um products with the uh, pun names uh kind of made me think of the same thing it's like a mini arcade but uh the actual product itself is completely different um is there any of these i really want i mean i wouldn't mind cubert or Mega Man. actually i um all of them are pretty nice, except for, you know, the Blinkies and the Mrs. Pac-Man aren't really as interesting as the others. Neither is Dig Dug, for that matter, but we'll uh, get right into it. Um, I'm not a big fan of Funko stuff a lot of the time. Uh, I don't like Funko Pops. They're quite deep formed, and I'm not a big fan of the aesthetic. Um, although it is nice that they kind of cover pretty much every fandom that's ever existed at this point, and... All fandoms that will exist or will become a Funko. That's how you know that it exists. And of course, they've gone into that uh, theme of putting it into a little garbage bag already. So if you don't like it, you can just throw it out. That's all that's in the box. <laughs> I don't know why they do that. It's, it's just, uh, if it's already in a box, does it really need... To be in a plastic bag as well. Seems like a waste of packaging, but whatever. Oh dear. Well, we got Dig Dug, which doesn't bode well. It still doesn't prove whether or not they're all Dig Dug, unless the arcade machine is different, but uh, it's actually a really nice looking figure. Like, look how well tampered that is. Like, the coloring is good. I don't see a lot of bleed at all. I mean, I guess the P is a little bit off-center, but that's fine. Because, I mean, it's a spinning thing. That That's really nice looking, actually. It's really, really good. Um, and unlike most Funkos, the head isn't, like, abnormally square and huge. It is too big, but it doesn't look as awful uh, in this design version compared to the others. So that's something, at least. Let's see what else we've got. Not a big fan of how much plastic there is. Oh, sorry, Dig Dug. You, uh, it's down there. When you can blow things up. Like you did to Cloud Strife in that one music video. You know what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, please don't be a second Dig Dug. Ugh. Okay, I can tell you categorically it's not a second Dig Dug. In fact, I know what it is by feeling it. Um, but let's... Just, uh... Snip the plastic there. It's definitely not what I thought it was. It is another character from Dig Dug. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this is the enemy from Dig Dug. I thought it was Cubert because I felt the round ball. But it is not. So this worries me a little bit. Does this mean that because I chose ones that had the Dig Dug arcade cabinet on it, I was guaranteed to get one of the Dig Dug characters? I have no idea. I mean, it does say Dig Dug vinyl figure, but <laughs> I think they all said that. I don't think there was different packaging because it says collect them all. I have no idea. I feel like it's just random and I just got extremely lucky and got the two Dig Dug ones. Um, I actually really like the look of this one. It, it's a really simple design as it would be for an NES game, um, but it's a really like... I don't know. It, it, it's just a cute little thing. It reminds me of a bomb -omb, a Goomba, all of those little tiny minions. I like that. I like that a lot. And it um, is absolutely huge in comparison to old Dig Dug here. 
They're nice things. Like, they look really well. They're well done. They're well molded. Um, I mean, it is a simplistic design, so it's not, like, super detailed or anything, but for the detail it has, it looks nice. Um, and they would look great on a shelf. Uh, I actually... I'm not going to put them up myself because I'm not a fan of Dig Dug. In fact, I've never actually played the game myself, but... I do think that they're really cool, and they're definitely worth, uh, not necessarily $5, um, although you're hard-pressed to find a blind bag for less than $5 these days. I'm glad I got these on sale and not uh, at the original price, which I think was like $13, which is crazy. But um, for a fiver, I don't feel ripped off, which is nice, because, uh, you know, like I say, it's very hard to find things for less than that these days. Uh, to put it in perspective, the um, Tonka trucks were the same price. Although I, I I actually feel like these are worth $5 because I like minis that are well done and these are just amazing. I will always, always come back to how great these are. Because they're just so nice. So nice. Okay, enough of that. Um, yeah, no, they're great. So, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. What have you done? You've killed him. You've murdered him. Ah! Uh, he ran away because he was traumatized. Um, <laughs> sorry, that wasn't good at all. Yeah, no, they're great. Uh, I've got nothing else to say about them. So that'll do it for this episode. As always, stay happy, stay healthy, and I will see the rest of you guys. Well, actually, I probably won't see any of you, but in the next episode, we'll open something else I wasted money on. I'm actually kind of thinking about... Oh, dear. I'm so sorry. I can't... I keep knocking you over at that. Sorry. Sorry, man. It's a good thing you're wearing a helmet. Protect you from all the concussions I've given you. That one was on purpose. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking about in the next time maybe getting some more uh, cards to open. I know that um, they're not as exciting to open, and I actually quite like physical things a little bit better, but uh, there's... Uh, as we did in a, that uh, recent video with the uh, the Pokemon starters, I've uh, there, there's a Mewtwo Pokemon box that I, I saw, and uh, I really like Mewtwo, and I'm kind of thinking I might get that. So maybe you'll see that in the future. Maybe my willpower will uh, overtake my compulsion, and we won't actually see that. But uh, that's something for another day. So until then, everybody, goodbye.